Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'm talking about versions in On One Photo Raw, what they are and why I think they're really useful and I think you could put them to good use with your photography. Now, why am I talking about versions? Well, someone asked me a question about versions, so here is this video. If you've got questions about photography, drop them in the comments below, or if you wanna keep it private, you can send me a message through my website. So what is a version? It's really an alternate processing of an individual photo. To really uh, understand it, you need to take a step back and understand what non-destructive editing is, which is what On1 Photo Raw does. So in brief, we have our photo file somewhere on our computer, and then in On1, we add adjustments to it. We add filters, we change sliders, all of those things are tracked by on one in its own you know, private database or in a sidecar file if you turn that on. And these are instructions to on one to say, you know, do these things to my photo and then give me an end result. So uh, for example, this photo here, I'm in browse and I can see in my settings applied area, you know, I've done certain things to this. I've made changes to develop, I've added filters and effects and so forth. So these are all instructions that I've added to the photo. I've told on one to do certain things, whether it be add contrast, add color, remove color, whatever the adjustments you're making are. Those are all the instructions and those are tracked in on one's database. Now, when we have a version, what we can do is create a second set of instructions or a third set of instructions or a fourth set of instructions, however many you'd like. So each version, you don't have to copy your raw photo. You just make a new set of instructions and that lets us have multiple different treatments of the same raw photo. And they're very lightweight and they're very easy to work with. So let's do one of those here. I'll go back into the grid mode. And you can see I've already got a version here. This little badge tells me it's a versioned photo and you can see it looks very different. But how did I do this? Right click on the photo and I create a version. And this will happen very fast. All it's done is created a copy of the existing adjustments that I've made. Now I can take this version and bring it into the edit module. Now, all of the changes that I made from my previous, my original treatment, they're all here. I can go and modify these to my heart's content. And as I'm doing all of this, I'm just making changes to my version. Let's go ahead and do uh, other one I looked like had like kind of like a black and white treatment. So let's add a black and white filter. We'll give it a quick auto mix and I'll lower the opacity by some. Let me grab that slider again. There we go. So kind of giving it a muted look, right? So now I've changed the set of instructions. I've got multiple sets of instructions. Each one is working on my individual raw file. If I return over to browse, I now have these different treatments for this photo. This was my original treatment, you know, a bright, colorful photo. This one I did a while ago is a little bit muted. This one here has got you know, a more muted feel, a little bit different, just uh, just more more desaturated really. And notice that there is a version number, version one, version two. If I look on my hard drive, my folder, my computer, I will see one raw photo. There's only one photo there. So I'm not taking up a lot of hard disk space. I'm just making additional copies of instructions and on one tracks all that and keeps track of it so that you can have lightweight, fast ways to try out different treatments for your photos. So that is on one's versions. It's a, it's a great feature. And if you're not using it, take a look at it. It's a really good way to try out different styles for your photos. You got other questions about on one photo raw photography in general, hit me up. I always like to hear what's going on with people and their photography. If you want to keep it private again, you can contact me through my website. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport and happy shooting.